Hello everyone, we're back with another Fairman Planes uh, airplane review. So today we're reviewing a Boeing 787-10, it's a British Airways aircraft, uh, and we're just going to take a closer look at this. So this, this model is um, made by Gemini Jets, and it's 1 to 200 scale, and it's a proper die-cast model, so you know it's got all the features you could possibly want on it. Um, so yeah, let's start the review. Um, as always, I think we'll start at the front of the aircraft, so... Um, I'm using the fancy camera today, so I have to adjust the focus manually, but there you go. It looks like you can see the front, so that's good. Um, so, as always, we've got the cockpit windows, which is really nice. We've got the cockpit windscreen wipers and the short registration B, is that? BLA at the top there, so that's good. Um, looks like we've got a fair amount of detail as well, so if we now move on to the side... Okay, so looking at the side, um, actually let's zoom in a little bit, there you go, now you can get the best view possible. So we've got the front door, so that's where the first class passengers will board, we've got the One World Airline Alliance logo there, uh, we've got some little sensors and pitot tubes there which is really nice detail that they've added on, we can see all the door markings on there as well, and we've got the British Airways ribbon nicely displayed on the front there, as well as the British Airways uh, logo in their typeface. And if we start to move along the fuselage, uh, we can see the To Fly To Serve logo or coat of arms there as well, which is really nice. Uh, very great or very nice feature of all the British Airways planes in my opinion. Okay, so moving along, we can see the second, co uh, sorry, the second passenger door here. So this is where the um, lower class passengers will board, those in premium economy or business or economy. Uh, you can see the One World Alliance logo there as well, as well as all the door markings. Now, obviously this being a Boeing 787, the windows are very big. If you've ever flown in a 787 before, you'll notice that the windows are absolutely huge, and you can even dim the windows from the inside as well. They don't have the little blinds. So um, it's really nice to see on this model that the windows are you know, of good size and they're very easy to see. Okay, so if we move along uh, the aircraft, let's have a look at the midsection now. Okay, so we can see more of the windows there. Uh, we've got some blocked out in the middle, uh, and then we've got the third door on this side. Uh, we can also see some text on the wings, but we'll take a closer look at the wings uh, at a later point during the video. Okay, and now moving towards the back of the aircraft, We can see the Royal Mail logo there. We can see the full aircraft registration. We can see a little uh, hatch there or some sort of door. And then we can see the rear door on the left hand side. Okay, and let's now look at the vertical stabilizer. So there we go. Um, Right, so we've got the lovely Union flag printed on the vertical stabiliser going onto the fuselage. We've got the horizontal stabilisers there as well, and we've got the APU, which has been, you know, pretty well detailed on there, I think. Um, it's got a nice sort of metallic colour there. Okay, so now we'll move on to the other side. I know I'm being slow, but I'm just being careful with the model so I don't sort of knock them over or anything. Okay, so now on to the right-hand side of the aircraft, we can see the vertical stabilizer again. Pretty much the same as before, we've got the short registration up on the top and the full registration down there. We've got the rear door on the right-hand side here. And if we start to move along the aircraft, we can see we've got one of the cargo door there as well. Uh, so they open that, load the cargo in, and whatever. Uh, we've got more windows, we've got another door here which is good. And if we look along the midsection of this side, we can see even more windows over the wing. And we can see uh, the second door on this side as well. So all the doors have uh, plenty of markings on them, which is a really good sign of detail. 
Okay, and finally, if we go back to the front of the aircraft, we can see the British Airways logo, as well as another cargo door beneath here. We've got plenty of little markings for all sorts of like sensors and whatever on the side. We've got the cockpit escape hatch up there, which is really a, a good detail to see. Not all planes or not all models feature that detail. And then we're back at the cockpit. And one interesting detail, well, it's very common on airplanes anyway, but we can see that on the nose landing gear door bay, we can see the short registration again there. Uh, it says BLA. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that on camera, but if you can't, you will have to trust me that it is there. Okay, so that's the perimeter of the aircraft covered. Let's now take a closer look at the wings. So uh, I'm just going to adjust the focus so you can get a good view. Right, so on the wings we can see that well, we've got a bunch of text written on there, so what does it say? It says, no steps. So obviously, you know, if people are on the wing, they need to be able to step on places that are safe and not damage it. So, you know, you've got your designated walking area. And of course, if you have to evacuate and go onto the wing, you don't want passengers sort of running the whole length of the wing and then jumping off at the end, because that would be very dangerous and they'd probably fall through the wing before they get to the end. But, um... So we've got good detail there. We've got all the flap markings there as well, uh, engraved onto the wing, which is really nice. It's a very shiny surface as well, which is um, a beautiful thing for the model. Um, but there we are. If we take a closer look at the, the leading edge of the wing, so let me just turn it around. There we go. Um, I'm going to try and hold this still, but we can see the slats at the front there in a nice silver colour. Um, so hopefully you guys can see that and you've got that all along the front of the wing there as well and at the very front you can see a little red dot there uh, just to show which side of the aircraft that is I'm trying my best to hold this as still as I can but it is quite difficult but hopefully you guys got a good look at that oh and before I forget you can see um, where is it yeah there it is so just there where above where my finger is you can see the uh, the headlights that help the pilot see at night, so that's a good detail they've featured. If we take a closer look at the engines, well, they're made by Rolls Royce, so we've got their logo uh, printed on there, that's nice. Hang on, I don't think the focus is working. Oops. There we go, is that better? You know what, I'm going to put it back on the stand and then we'll take a look at the engine. My hand was starting to hurt there. Um, so on the engine we've got the Rolls Royce logo which is really nice uh, and then we've got some other markings as well. Uh, if we take a look inside the engine uh, we can see that you know we can very clearly see all the um, the fan blades and um, if I try and poke the fan blades around I know I'm using the pen but it's a uh, it's not a fountain pen, so it's not going to stain very easily, but the fan blades do move about. Um, I'm not sure how easy that is to see on camera, but uh, the fan blades are rolling. Um, there we go. So that's a very nice detail to have. You've also got the spiral on the cone of the engine there as well. So, you know, almost perfect detail, really. Um, on the inside, a side uh, or the inner side of the engine um, well, it's going to be difficult to focus this but hopefully you can see that but you've got an air deflector there as well just to aid its aerodynamic performance uh, so that's just a little small part on the engine there okay one interesting detail on this airplane is that we've got a little dome on the top of the aircraft. I don't know what it's for. It could be for in-flight Wi-Fi, it could be for all sorts of things, but maybe someone in the comments will know. But either way, uh, it's good to see that on the model. Um, okay, let's now take a look at the underside of the aircraft. Often there are some nice details there. Uh, so. We can see it's painted in a lovely blue, a lovely navy blue colour. We've got the Gemini uh, Jets logo in the middle there. 
we've got the hole for the aircraft stand, we have the landing gears, and we have the underside of the wings, which is very nice and elegant white. Uh, we have some more markings there. We've got a little gemstone at the bottom there for uh, one of the lights, which is nice. And then you should be able to see um, just... Ooh, I don't know if the focus is going to work here. But around here, on both the sides, we can see the air bleed intake. Um, so that's just a little engraving into the body there. So if I hold it back a little bit, hopefully you can see it now. But uh, yeah, so just there and there, if you can see that, we've got the air bleed intake. Okay, right, so I'm going to put the model down now, uh, because it's getting heavy. I don't want to break it. Alright, so now, uh, I think if we just, uh, let me adjust my camera, right, there we go, and we'll focus back on the whole model. So um, now it's on the ground, it does have landing gears and they're strong enough to support its own weight on the ground, which is really good. Um, for this model I would not recommend rolling it about because, well, the landing gears do roll a little bit, but there is a little bit of resistance, so I, I would not recommend, you know, pushing it backwards and forwards or rolling it down a slide at a playground or anything. Um, I would encourage people just to sort of put this on display and keep it still. Um, I think that way everyone's happy because it won't get damaged as easily. Um, but there we go, so there's the model. I think uh, we are finished for the review now, so once again thanks for watching another one of my airplane reviews. If you do, if you, if you enjoyed this video and feel like I've earned a subscription for you, feel free to like and subscribe to the video, it's always appreciated. Um, and I think we can close the review there, so I'm just going to pop it on the stand, and then that will be the end of the video. Okay, thanks for watching.